Welcome back. The South African Reserve Bank is a crucial national institution which is required by the Constitution to serve all South Africans. It must perform its functions independently and without fear, favor or prejudice. But there is a problem. There appears to be certain loopholes which make it possible for shareholders to make a profit out of the Reserve Bank. Cabinet says in a statement, it has come to the attention of government that a number of shareholders are involved in activities which could undermine the bank's independence. The governor of the Reserve Bank had conveyed these concerns to shareholders in March this year, stating that profit-making should never be a motive for holding shares in the bank. And cabinet thought those loopholes needed to be blocked. To do that, the Treasury has tabled the South African National Reserve Bank bill. It's currently the subject of public hearings at the joint meeting of the Standing Committee on Finance and the Joint Committee on Finance. But to talk to us about the proposed amendments to the South African Reserve Bank Act, we are joined in the studio by a member of the Standing Committee, Dr. Mario Abrosini of the Incata Freedom Party. Good morning, sir. And Good welcome. morning to you. Thank you very much for having me here today. Uh, Dr. Abrosini, <coughs> briefly, we referred to it in the introduction, but what are the key objectives of this bill? You see, the issue of uh, profits is not an issue. It's a red herring. The real issue, which is came and coming across very clearly during the uh, public hearings, is who owns the Reserve Bank and who does the Reserve Bank really serve? Is it owned by the banking community? Does it serve the banking community? The issue of profits is not an issue. Profits are capped. The real issue is that the shareholders wanted to open the black box within which the operations of the Reserve Bank are taking place. It's, a, it's an incredible uh, place of secrecy. Nobody knows what is, what is happening. We received shocking allegations. Mm -hmm. we, we were told that the gold of South Africa has been transferred to England. We, are, we have no power to know whether that's true or not true. We, we, <coughs> we have been told that the loss to the Reserve Bank is now post, which is a huge loss, is in effect loss from the banking system, which has been transferred to the Reserve Bank, mm -hmm. and potential in terms of final ability to you and I as taxpayers. Mm -hmm. We received allegations uh, that there is a preferential track uh, for uh, applications under the Exchange Control Act. You and I can take our money out, but a big client of a big bank can do it at the snap of a finger. So, and all this happens in a place where there is no accountability, no transparency, and that's a big issue which uh, has been raised. The issue of profits is not addressed by the bill, has nothing to do with the bill, is not, it has been put out uh, as a red herring, uh, herring to try to uh, convince uh, the, um, the, the public uh, to focus on that issue rather than the, the fundamental issues uh, of why do we need a central bank, uh, who does the central bank serve, and who is behind, and where, is, where does the public interest lies, as opposed to the private interest of the bankers. Well, but what are the main proposals in the bill? Well, the bill wants to increase the board, put all sorts of people on the board, and take all the power away from the board, and place the power of managing the bank into, into the governor, the deputy governor, and other couple of people. Would, you see, the, 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 the core, the operational core of the bank is the monetary system, is the monetary committee, in which there is no government representative. There it is decided, the cost of money, how many money is available. See, let me give you an, ex an example that you understand the importance of what we're talking about. Not, not, you, obviously you do, but the general public can. Yes. The, we were faced yesterday with a piece of information that at the Davos meeting of 2009, it was admitted that there was a contraction of money supply in 2009 of 50%. Now, if that is correct, that is the final and ultimate cow cause of the recessions we're in. So central banks determine how much money there is out there, and they can open or, redu or, or close the gate of the money supply. Their only obligation is an outside obligation to meet inflation targets given by government. But how they do it? It happens within a black box in which we have no control, and yet that determines 
the size of the economy, the repayment of your bond, the interest rates, and effectively the future of the country and the world. If you could have it your way, Dr. Ambrosini, uh, what would your views be with regard to transparency? What is the position of uh, the Well, you see, there, there are two functions. There is the function of regulating the banking system, making sure that there are reserves in place, and that's what they should do. Then there is another function. And I stand with Milton Friedman. This is not my thinking. They should not print our money. Mm -hmm. You and I, the government, the people of South Africa, do not own our money. We borrow money from the, from, the, from the banking system, and we borrow money at an interest. We should be able to substitute bank notes with government notes. We should be able to print money. We can print as much debt as we want. We can borrow as much as we want. There are no limits to the borrowing power of the state. But we cannot print, we cannot own a single rand. So it's, uh, this is the issue of the century. It's, the, it's, it's been tackled in America, it's been tackled in Europe. Why do we need a central bank? Wherever there has been government notes rather than bank notes, the economy has flourished. But then the bankers regain the power to own our money, and we need to borrow it from the bankers. So this is a crucial issue for South Africa because we are in a crisis. A crisis is a time of opportunities. We could experiment something new. This is what emerged yesterday during the public submissions. There were three or four of these submissions saying, now is the time of the crunch. Let's look beyond this bill, and let's have a comprehensive look uh, uh, what the Reserve Bank does and what should be doing. Today we're going to have more of these public hearings mm -hmm. on the same issue. You're saying that uh, the shareholders seem to be operating in a dark room. Uh, uh, what would you propose then? No, uh, no, no, sorry. They are not the shareholders which operate in, the, in, a, bl in, a, in, in, a, in a black box. Mm -hmm. They are out there outside the box to open the mm -hmm. box for their sake and for our sake. The entire bank operates in the blank box. There is no accountability, there is no transparency, in spite of the governor now making some noise about transparency. But the entire op bank doesn't operate in terms of the, pub of, the uh, of administrative law. It, do is, it doesn't make decisions on records. It is uh, a law onto itself, and it's a law which controls our economy. It's way more powerful but than Parliament, the Minister of Finance, but and then the how, President. How, how can it then be controlled without interfering in the operations of the bank? Well, you know, first of all, knowledge. Secondly, what is the role? We need to redefine the role. And third, transparency, transparency, transparency. So, the, in effect, the, 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 there shouldn't be private shareholders. We, as IFP, have been saying over and over, you can't own an organ of state. We, we, the, there should be a right issue. Government should gain 50% of, uh, of the shares, and we should become, it should be government owned as ASCOM or anything else is. But uh, they are fighting a battle for you and I. For transparency, and, they are, uh, and it's not for greed because their, their, their profits are capped, so they couldn't gain more out of this process. We, it, it, we, we've definitely run out of time here, Dr. Well, Mario. Well, let's Abbas let's continue this dialogue, it's important for the country. Uh, we will certainly follow those public hearings. Thank you very Thank much you for very coming much. to us. Uh, a uh, hundred years ago, the Union of South Africa was established. Earlier this